Certificates are something we often need whether it's for school, work, training programs, or special events. But sometimes, we receive a certificate template that isn't fully ready, or we need to make changes later. Maybe you want to change the name to someone else, add a signature, update the date, or even fix some text details. If you've ever wondered how to do that easily, without ruining the design or layout, then this video is just for you. So let's get started. First method, edit certificate in PDF free online. If you need a quick and free way, you can use an online tool like Sejda. Go to sejda.com, then upload your certificate in PDF format. This method only works for PDF format. If you have certificate with image format, you can't edit it using Sejda. Then use the text or image editing tools to make changes. Once done, click download to save your edited certificate. Sejda is that it's completely free, requires no installation, and works very quickly for small edits. However, the downside is that you're uploading your certificate online, which may pose a privacy risk if the document contains sensitive information, and sometimes the editing accuracy is not perfect. Next, the second method, how to edit certificate in laptop using Tenorshare PD knob. Now, for a more secure and professional option, you can use software like Tenorshare PD knob on your laptop. This works both for PDF and image-based certificates. Tenorshare PD knob is a lightweight PDF and document editing software designed for both Windows and Mac. It comes with a built-in ACR engine that can turn scanned or image-based text into editable text. That means even if your certificate is just a photo or scan, you can still edit the text directly. PD knob is often used for editing contracts, forms, scanned documents, and in this case, certificates. First, download and install on your computer. It is available on Windows and Mac computer. Now let's go through how to edit a certificate using Tenorshare PD knob. This is a powerful tool because it lets you edit both PDF and scanned image certificates directly on your computer. First, open Tenorshare PD knob. On the main screen, click import file and select your certificate. Since most certificates are scanned or saved as images, we need to turn the text into something we can actually edit. Click the Perform a CR button and let PD knob scan your certificate. After a few seconds, the text becomes fully editable while keeping the layout the same. Now you can edit the certificate directly, change the name, update the date, fix any text errors, or even add new details. The layout stays preserved so the certificate still looks original. PD knob gives you total flexibility. It lets you edit anything in the certificate, almost as if you're working on a brand new design. You can insert images anywhere, add or replace text wherever you need, and even drop in a digital signature or a logo directly onto the document. This makes it incredibly versatile, whether you're editing one certificate or creating multiple versions for different recipients. After finishing your changes, you can also insert a signature, logo, or stamp to make the certificate look professional. All of this can be resized and positioned exactly where you want it. Once you're satisfied with the edits, just save or export your file. PD knob allows you to keep the certificate in PDF format or export it as an image, depending on how you want to share or print it. The best part about using PD knob is that it works completely offline, so you don't have to worry about uploading sensitive certificates to the internet. The OSCR is highly accurate, the editing features are professional, and if you need to handle multiple certificates, PD knob even supports batch editing. It's a secure, powerful and reliable way to edit certificates without losing quality or risking privacy. If your certificate is saved as an image, such as a scanned JPG or PNG, then Photoshop is the best option for editing. To start, open the scanned certificate in Photoshop. From here, you can use the text tool to replace or add new details, such as changing a name or updating a date. If you need to remove existing text or unwanted marks, you can use the Clone Stamp tool to carefully blend the background and clean the area before adding fresh text. This allows you to maintain the design while making the changes look natural. Once you've finished your adjustments, you can save the file either as an image or export it as a PDF depending on how you want to use it. The advantage of using Photoshop is that it gives you complete customization and control, which is especially useful for certificates with complex or design-heavy layouts. The advantage of using Photoshop is that it gives you complete customization and control, which is especially useful for certificates with complex or design-heavy layouts. However, the downside is that Photoshop has a steeper learning curve. It can be time-consuming, and it's not the most efficient choice if you only need to update text-heavy certificate. Next method, how to edit certificate in Word. 
Another simple option is to edit your certificate using Microsoft Word. This method works if you don't have access to specialized software. Start by inserting your certificate image into a blank Word document. Once it's in place, you can add text boxes over the areas you want to change. For example, you can cover up an old name, date, or title and replace it with new text. When you're finished making changes, you can export or save the file as a PDF so it looks more polished. The benefit of using Word is that it's very easy to use, and since many people already have it installed, you don't need to download any extra software. However, the downside is that it doesn't look as professional. The precision is limited, and sometimes the formatting can shift, especially if the certificate has a complex design. So let's quickly recap everything we've covered. If you want a quick, free edit, use an online tool like Siegda. If you want a professional and secure solution, Tenorshare PDKnob is the best choice. If your certificate is design heavy or image based, Photoshop gives you full customization. And if you just need a simple overlay edit, Microsoft Word can get the job done. Each method has its pros and cons, so choose the one that fits your needs best. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with anyone who might need it. And if you want the most accurate and secure option, check out the link in the description to try Tenorshare PD Knob for yourself. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.